Good morning to everyone. This is Virendra Singh and welcome back at Mastercam Milton Tutorials and Toolpath. So this is an another one video on a Mastercam Milton module where we learn about that how we can create the programming for that one component with the various step and what are the things that we have to cover. So basically th that is the first thing if you want to start to learn the Milton. So that one is the best video to start your process to start to work because in this video we will start from very basic cover step by step all these things and in this video the machine which we are using that is not Milton but that is the process that we follow that is a complete process of Milton because from the Mastercam 2023 there are few machines are available included the software so you can download the Mastercam 2023 demo version and you can get access on all these machines so that video for making this video the purpose is that you can do your own practice on the same machine on the same model if you facing any issue feel free to contact us we will try our best to help you out so before starting the video I first I would like to show you the machine what is the machine and what is the process and what the steps that we have to cover in this video so this is now as you can see here this is my machine and in this machine that is a basic machine where there is one spindle is available the chuck is available stock model is also available and at the upper area there are some tools are mounting on a properly in a turret so all these turret tools are available which we are using to cut this one part and now let we have to start to process this one so I just reduce my speed in simulation I just make the color change and just play so once I play this one so if you are new with this Milton so that time you will get idea that what kind of things that is visible in a Milton and what are the benefits that we have in a Milton we get a full machine simulation where you can analyze watch and check where my tool is came if there is any collision so that is also detected how my tool is going on near to workpiece how my tool is going uh, in forward to workpiece so all these things are visible and as well as how my spindle is rotating that is also visible in the last tool my insert is on a down downside so that time that tool spindle was rotating in this direction for this one tool my insert is at upper portion so where the insert is mounting always spindle have to be rotating in this direction so as you can see here this is now my roughing portion or roughing area is now created right at here if I would like to increase the speed have a look so that is now roughing is done once my roughing operation is done the next tool is came for the finishing so now my insert is in down portion so spend the direction is something like that so this is my another one tool path is getting successfully done and after that the last and final tool path is came here for the grooving operation have a look once my first area grooving is done after that it came to the second portion have a look so that's the thing that complete tool path is created and we are create the different kind of tool path with the help of a Milton module where the all things are properly visible the stock is properly visible the machine is properly visible and at here if I just close the color and I just say the workpiece is high off to highlighted and the stock should be highlighted in a proper way so have a look that when the part is getting to be completed so that's the same thing that will be produce produce or a machine after completing of all these tool paths so that's the best part of Milton where you get all the simulation things the tooling the machining the process the tool path all these things and visibility are the superb that's the best point the best module in overall master cam that we have now let we have to discuss about that what is the process and step that how you can create the tool path for all these things in a master cam so now when I want to start the tool path so this is the all I already created the tool path right at here now for your information and knowledge and learning I would like to start to create this tool path from the very basic and beginning so for that one purpose I just go and drag and drop this tool path right at here now as you can see here this tool model workpiece is now available right at here if you don't have this workpiece go and join our mastercam milton uh milton channel button so once you join you will get all the 
वर्क पीस मेटेरियल इन सो यू कैन रीड आउट यू कैन डाउनलोड गेट एक्सेस एंड यू कैन लर्न इजीली सो नाउ लेट वी हैव टू स्टार्ट टू वर्क ऑन दैट हाउ द प्रोसेस एंड हाउ एंड वॉट इज द प्रोसेस टू क्रिएट ऑल दिस थिंग्स so for that one we have to go in a machine in a machine we have to go in a milton and in a milton we have to choose the machine there are various machines are available for it right at here but for now we are choosing a generic fanuc lathe machine that is available by default in our mastercam milton module from the 2023 once i go and select the mastercam milton module so that time my software is getting to be blink a new window and right at here for this machine we have only left side spindle so that is showing the that part have a left side spindle that is stock and that is joint if you want to make some modification you can go click and make the modification after that the next step is if we need to support a uh, work support with the help of study rest you can add on the study rest right at here and after that that's the main and important thing that we have to make the setup type it means what kind of part that we have and how we want to set up this part that is the method that we have to choose on this one page for example if you have a machine that have a two spindle left side spindle and right side spindle so that time where my first or initial time work piece is available we can choose from this one and there are the different methods will be available for the part handling but this machine is a one single uh, single spindle machine or i can say single chuck machine so that's the reason that I have only left side spindle and the part handling have a single method that single piece of stock no pick up and nothing so it means the part is holding on the only left side of spindle after that we have to came on wcs how my wcs have to be set on this one after that i have to choose the part geometry left side spindle so that time we have the both side of spindle part selection on all these things so for right at here we can choose the left side spindle and if you have a right side spindle so we can choose that one also but for this one machine we have only the left side spindle so we have to click on the part geometry just click on this part and that's done once i select this one part and we have to click the turn profile it means automatically turn profile is created and we i can modify and mo modification the change the color and all these things right at click on here after that we have to came in a bar stock it means the thing that we have to defining this that's the raw material values when we are choosing the part and a model so that case automatically the diameter and all these things are going to be added if you want to make some extra stock we can define the extra stock right at here for example in od i just add a 1 mm extra stock and in the back side i added a 1 mm extra stock if we have something like as a revolution stock or a solid stock or a stl file we can defining right and from here after that we have to select choose the tool plane origin where the tool plane origin is we are taking for this one part for example for this one we are choosing the wcs that is and all these things offset tool offset that is that one point and after that we have to choose the stick out stick out means how much in a work piece length how much area is clamping and how much is outside from the work piece that's the called is stick out so that is the thing that we are doing in this cover at the stick out so that's the all these things that we are successfully completed right at here for example if we don't if we want to make the tool path should be like on this one position so we can see find define the st stick out value is that and if we want to make the tool path have to be came like on this position so that in that condition what we have to do we have to define the back side raw material 30 mm extra in stick out i just say this is my stick out position so that's the total length and i just say 75 plus 2 so total 77 mm work piece is going to be outside the 77 mm stock is outside from my part so that's the all these things that we have to cover and we cover that how our work piece is going to be set up how we select the machine so that's the first part of this one video we will see you in the next part where we learn about that how we can create the all the turning tool path in a milton module where we learn some very good and interesting tool path about like as a face rough finish groove and we will also learn that how we can create these kind of tool path in the milton module 
So be connected and updated for the more videos. And if you want to learn Mastercam in detail, you can go and join our video where you get all the material and all the access. So you can learn easily and quickly. So thank you so much. Thank you so much for watching this video. See you soon.